Son? What are you doing here? We need to have a very serious father-to-son discussion uh, about protection. Shut up, Dad! This is serious. Now, now that you're a man, I know that you and that girlfriend of yours have been going out, uh, what are the kids today calling it, uh, uh, splitting the wood? No one calls it splitting that the anymore, wood, Dad. Well, it's very important. You're a douchebag. Listen, it's very important that you protect yourself because I love you. Stop being gross. I love gross. you and you need to protect yourself. So, I want to make sure that you know how to use one of these. Oh, Dad, that's gross. Put yeah, that back. You, you need to watch this. I'm going to demonstrate on myself Dad. so that you oh, have some sense geez, of this is how so to, to use Dad. this particular... This is... <laughs> Everybody, this is Praxis, and in this video I'm going to be reviewing the Tac Niner Tactical Gloves. If you've watched my channel for a while, you know I'm a huge booster for gloves in general. I think it's a great way of protecting one of your most important piece of gear, which is your hands. Uh, you know, if you don't have your hands, there are so many things you can't do. And I think it's really important to protect them, whether you're, you know, chopping wood or carrying lumber or digging or whatever you're doing, it's really important. To, to keep your hands from being injured or getting like splinters and things stuck into them because if you if you get an infection especially if you were in a situation you know where you maybe maybe don't have access to you know immediate medical care and everything it can just create a lot of downstream problems that you know you wouldn't have to deal with if, if you've been wearing gloves so I'm going to be reviewing these in this video so I'm just going to pop open the box here and take them out and have I already lost your interest I should have. If you see somebody who's doing a like a review, especially of something like gloves, and they're taking them out of the box and they look like this, brand new, what on earth could they possibly tell you about them? I'm not going to be reviewing these. I'm going to be reviewing these, which are the same thing, but I've been using them for six months and I can actually share something with you about them. I hate it when I see gear reviews and it's like brand new and it's like they're pretty much just telling you what it looks like coming out of the box. Useless. Is What you want to know is what is it like actually using the things. I've been using these for six months and I'm fairly impressed with these. In fact, I can't think of anything that I think is a downside to these gloves. The one thing that I, I, I dislike about the gloves oftentimes is that they have this little Velcro strap. And when I go to take the gloves off, oftentimes I want to just pull them off and the Velcro strap is holding them on there. But honestly, that's not really even a complaint because that's just them doing what they're supposed to do. And a lot of times I just don't even put the Velcro strap on so I can pull them right off. These are really well-designed gloves. Uh, the only feature of them that I haven't used yet is the knuckles on them. I haven't tried punching anyone in the face with them yet. It just, it, I, I don't know, it hasn't come up. But uh, everything else about these is really, really well designed. They're rugged. I've been using them for chopping wood. I've been using them for working in and around a fire. Uh, they haven't gotten like singed or like the heat resistance on them seems really great. Um, they're not getting tears in all the, w the places where gloves oftentimes get tears. I'm always getting rips around the fingers and stuff like that. And uh, you know, they're really holding up really, really well. They are lined with Kevlar. So that's helping to make them, you know, give them that additional strength. Um, and I, I'm really pleased with these gloves. The only thing on these that is like a little bit awkward for me is that they are supposed to be able to be used with a touch screen, you know, so you can, you know, use them with like a phone or something like that. And they have these little uh, kind of stitching things on the thumb and the, uh, the index finger here. And for me personally, um, well, A, I, I don't even care if they work, I, I, like, it, you know, I don't really use my phone all this time. I mean, I, it's just not part of my life, but I did test it out and they do work, but for my finger, my index finger is a little shorter, I guess, comparatively to my other fingers. Like my middle finger fits right up in here, but my index finger is just a little bit short. So where this is located, for me to work, if, for me to work a screen, I kind of have to pull the, the glove back so that it actually matches with my fingertip to make it work. Um, so like that's, like kind of a downside but that it's only if you have like freakishly length fingers like I do. Overall, super super good glove. I give them like really high marks for this. The Velcro little straps that are adjustable, um, 
it's just they really hold together really well it, it feels like a really good fit um, and I've just been really really pleased with this glove I've done TAC 9 reviews in the past and I if you've seen any of those, you know I'm not afraid to give a bad review uh, to products. There was a screw-together shovel, which I just absolutely trashed. I just did not think it was a very good product. But a lot of what Tac Niner makes uh, is really good stuff, and these definitely fall into the category of really good stuff made by Tac Niner. Highly, highly would recommend. I used to have some other gloves in my... Um, uh, regular everyday carry bag, and I replaced them with these because these are just really, really good gloves. That's it. Thanks for watching. This episode has been brought to you in part by Prescott Caliber Club and Jeske Defense Strategies. Prescott Caliber Club is a federally licensed firearm manufacturer and retail store specializing in firearms, survival gear, and producing great online content. If you want to thank them for supporting this channel, go check them out at prescottcalclub.com. Please subscribe and tune in every Friday at 4.30 New York time for a new video. And if you'd like to support this channel, you can do so both through Patreon or PayPal.